We wanted a way to get our customers and our insurance brokers to start recognising the personality of Ecclesiastical. We wanted to be able to demonstrate our values in a really striking campaign. Looking at the brand values that the clients actually hold, in particular the hand icon that is featured very heavily in their logo type. They are all about caring and the guys did come up with a very good concept. Basically that if you're with Ecclesiastical, you're in good hands. Um, how this was translated was actually into a campaign of something up to eight shots of which feature all the different type of buildings, homes, areas that actually Ecclesiastical do in fact ensure. By making things out of the hands, you are always going back to those core values that you're in good hands with Ecclesiastical Insurance. Although business advertising sounds quite boring, uh, in actual fact it's often some of the most interesting imagery you do because um, you, you really are selling concepts rather than a product. That, uh, um, for me, is, is much more interesting because it's, it's very challenging. Ray's been around in the industry for years. I've personally worked with Ray before. Um, I knew he was more than capable to do this job. And along with Ray, you actually get Ray's team. We're working with two, uh, two artists because uh, for a hand model to be still enough to, to produce this, he's really got to be there for something like five or six hours. Some of the shots are very trompe ploy and so you're not you, you, a bit of a double take when you, when you look at the image. It's something where someone will look at it and think, what's that? So that it takes that much longer to turn the page from an advert. It makes somebody want to stay and find out more. The castle we're working on today, that really is quite an interesting one. We've sourced uh, a hand model who's got very, very large and craggy hands, which lends itself to, you know, to make a castle there. Annie and uh, Annie have, have found references of, of suitable castles with the right sort of turrets and brickwork and architecture, so they then have produced a, a rough of it and put it onto a cell which they then project onto the hands and then using, using that projection onto the hands they then sketch in the relationship with the detail which is quite hard to do. They project it from the same angle as the camera is uh, going to photograph it from and then actually having sketched out where everything goes then they're filling in all the detail and adding the shadow and giving it the uh, three-dimensional quality. The nice thing about this campaign and what we really wanted to get across was the fact that these images have really been produced with the hands. I mean this job could have been created in the CGI, it could have been using the ordinary hands and then um, adding the, uh, the drawing in Photoshop, or we could be painting it. And, um, but to my mind it's something, um, the company's called Ecclesiastical, it really is noted for being professional, honest, those kind of quality and then creating this job we wanted to do it using reality, using painters to say that um, this is real. It's miles away and miles removed from just producing an illustration. There is the reality there that it is actually the real hands. You get the skin tones coming through, you get the hairs coming through. If the man on the street who's now very sophisticated today, if he's seen every kind of computer effect and CGI. If he believes that the image is phony, um, it will reflect on the product. So that's really why we're, we've gone for the natural painting way of doing it. The actual end result is very, very pleasing and that's one of the reasons that we use Bray. It's not just him, it's the complete team. Well, it feels more worthwhile something like this and there is a genuine idea. And I think the images so far, as I say, are actually looking really, really good and I'm more than pleased with them.